three things you need to do before your master class. I'm going live to talk about these very important three things you need to do before you get your master class ready, before you get your program or course ready. If you don't know me, I'm Karma. I help coaches, freelancers, and online entrepreneurs get clients consistently without social media burnout so that they can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. So today, I'm gonna to talk about three very, very important things, three must-dos that you need to do, you need to plan about before you launch your masterclass. Number one is your pre-launch campaign. This is very important in order for you to create buyer's journey. Your content strategy needs to be aligned with a launch campaign, with, with, with a proper buyer's journey. What do I mean? So in a launch campaign, you have, you need visibility, you need engagement, you need to generate leads, and then you launch. These are the steps to a launch campaign, right? And a buyer's journey is grabbing their attention. This is when you reach your target audience. So it is important that you reach, get some visibility and get their attention, right? This is how you're going to go to, go to the next step. Once you grab their attention, you need to get them interested, okay? This is when you're gonna engage with them, right? To get them interested, you have to engage with them and engage them with your content. So, after you get them interested, you are going to have them desire. Desire your content, your solution, your offer, your product, whatever this is that is coming because now, they they have their attention on you you've got them interested because they know about your niche they know about you what you're talking about so now they're like okay i wonder how this person can help me right so that's when you're generating your leads making them leads by uh having them desire your solution having them desire your 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 offer right so this is when you generate leads and once you make them a lead, this is when you are going to make them take action. And you are main, making them take action during the launch, right? So they're gonna take action during your launch, during your masterclass. But there's all of these steps that you need to plan when you're planning your launch campaign so that you can create a buyer's journey for your audience so that you can make them leads. Now, this was the number one thing. Number two, this is the most important. Why? Because we need leads. I always talk about having a launch or launching a business does not mean opening a business. You can open a business without any leads, but you cannot launch anything without leads, without an audience at least, right? So in order to do this, we need to build an email list. We're gonna need to build an email list in order to have an audience for our launch. And this is where our lead generation is, right? That's why we're doing it. During that lead generation, we're trying to get more followers, we're trying to get more people in our email list. Why I say particularly email list is because we know by now that we cannot control social media or who's going to see our content and when and if we want to make these um make our audience our leads if we want to turn them and turn them into leads then we are going to need them to be 
and a platform where we can control what we are going to give them as content or value. That's why we need to build an email. So during this, during the third step of your launch campaign and during the third step of your buyer's journey, this is where you're building your email list and you are going to start warming them up to your masterclass, to your offer, to your solution, whatever it is, right? So that was number two, building an email list, building an audience. Number three is the post launch promo campaign, right? Because this is a promotion. You're launching your masterclass. You may not convert during the masterclass. And if you look at the statistics, right? Especially statistics for high ticket items and high ticket services, you are converting 90% of your clients through follow-ups, which are going to be your post-launch campaign content, right? So that's why you need to make sure you plan about what you are going to say to them after your masterclass so that, I mean, not everybody is gonna wanna put their, put a bunch of money into something that quickly, right? So we are gonna have some people think about it. And while they're thinking about it, we are still gonna have to nurture them. We are still gonna have to um, show them what kind of value they're gonna get if they act on this promotion. That's why it's important to do your, to plan your po post launch content, post launch uh, campaign. It is within the campaign, like your post launch, your masterclass and your post launch both, both go into um, your last step, which, which is taking action step, because this is where you're telling them to take action. This is where your call to action is during your master class and after the master class with the emails, maybe with the videos or maybe with um, some other trainings or showing other client wins, um, answer to their questions and, and um, talk about their, their uh, objections they may have and get feedback from them during this time. So that's why this is also important to have a post-launch strategy in order to increase your conversion rate. So I hope these were helpful for you. Let me know which piece of uh, information you like the most. And also let me know if you have any questions. I would love to um, answer true questions and I would love to help you out with more content. So I'll see you next time.